Legends of Privateer FX. Coming at you. Last day of summer, baby. Long weekend in the U.S. Last weekend in the Hamptons. For the Money Boys. And month end today. We also have uh, German retail sales, some French numbers, Italian unemployment, European CPI. I would say those are all moderately important. Um, CAD, Canadian GDP is today, 2.30 Swiss time. And then we have US PCE, which is an inflation sort of tracker personal spending give us an eye on the consumer so we have some data out today let's have a look at these charts and see what we think is going on our colleagues in the states pointed out some interesting bars yesterday this Aussie yen bullish engulfed uh, my two cents here it's mid-range engulfed so it's not quite as powerful as we would like uh, mid-range engulf on the last day of summer uh, I don't want to poo poo it I guess it's meaningful but uh, we'll have to see we, we see some we see some trouble brewing out there in the uh, political side Hong Kong looks to be heating up uh, this, this would not be good for um, Aussie yen if that thing blows up this weekend so let's be careful with this if you want to trade it strictly technically you need to confirm with trading through these highs which was 71.80 or even 71.81 so it's a fair bit away um, to see if this confirms a bullish engulfing um, we will see we will see but it is an interesting bar uh, a bar we're more interested in is this tens now. Looks like we put in a little double top, bearish engulfing at the all-time highs. Um, this looks pretty sexy for some downside momentum. We'll be short tens today. Uh, we've been toying short tens and toying short boons, uh, just chipping, sort of chipping and charging, kind of a trade short grab some offer some short grab some offer some um, just trying to be short when the hysteria starts to unwind uh, here's the boon yield didn't quite bullish engulf yesterday but now we we again looks like we put in a double double bottom on the yield so remember yield higher means the price of the boond lower. I don't know where my boon chart is. Let's just pull this guy up. Boons. There she is. 95. So we almost got some love there. We had some marginally hawkish commentary from some ECB people. We also had some dovish commentary from Lagarde. Nobody, you know, it kind of ended in a stalemate there, but Boons is less compelling. Tens look uh, like more of a turn to me. The problem is the tens move could be uh, month end rebalancing because if you, we talked about this yesterday, you see the move on the month here. Uh, rebalancing will be selling tens, buying equities. Uh, equities went up for other reasons yesterday I believe um, we'll go to equ we'll come to equities after some currency Let's look at these currencies a little bit anyway so we like tens lower um, euro looks relatively weak in a kind of quiet sort of shitty way I don't have a dog in this fight just gotta keep in mind 110.26 uh, is the low we do have some European data today 
there's so little volatility in CPI um, that we normally don't get much of a move. So we're just watching this. Uh, we'll see if we put in a double bottom. The market seems to quietly be getting shorter and shorter as we head into the ECB, which to me is a huge worry. Um, you know, if I'm Draghi, it's my last meeting. I do nothing. I hand the reins over to uh, Christine Lagarde, let her um, do the deed for more easing. Um, and so I may do a little bit of QE if I'm Draghi, but what I'm looking for is kind of a hawkish uh, easing, if you know what I mean. So he won't give the market as much uh, as they like. And I don't think he's going to cut rates. I think he's very cognizant of what this, uh, what these lower bounds and rates are doing to the bank stocks here in Europe. So anyway, we're two weeks away. Something to watch. Uh, it'll be a very interesting day. I believe there'll be a lot of money to be made at this ECB, this last ECB for Draghi. So uh, we're we're putting the time in now to think about the scenarios. Uh, obviously, you have to refine this uh, on the day, but the market's getting shorter. Euro, we are not short. Uh, we're just going to watch this 28 level or 26 level, see what happens. Um, it is month end, so there's a lot, a lot of nonsense late in the in the European day. Uh, just watching. Let's just put it that way. Things that we're not just watching uh, will be this CAD. We've been talking about this for a while now. Looks like. Um, you can buy this through 20 and through 40 on a weak GDP. It's going to be tough as ever. Uh, can you go long dollar CAD before GDP? Actually, I think you can. Um, because where is dollar CAD going to be? Where's the most awkward place dollar CAD can be right before GDP? At 20 or at 40? Uh, and oftentimes these currency pairs kind of mat matriculate towards these super awkward levels that make it impossible to trade. Um, so just a quiet long, I think, this morning makes sense. And if it is at 40, then you have kind of a free trade. Uh, you can just leave your stop down here at the figure. Uh, if it's at 20, it's a little bit more dicey, but... Looks like we're going to attract to these levels. Aussie's gotten smoked down to 05, a little bit of a bounce here, but this will help Dollar Cad go higher. Um, Dollar Cad topside, we're watching it. You know, we, we really turn the screws through 20 and through 40, but we can have a little tester long down here um, between 132.80 and 133, the figure. Cable, we're still uh, bullish. Uh, we're trading it from the long side. Today we will try and grab some uh, right down here at 56. And see what we can do. You know, it's again, it's just grabbing cash. Um, this isn't a trend following type of trade. This is like. There will be moves to the downside. We will fade them, uh, and then we will get out on the small on the small blips higher, and then try and reload on the downside again. So, looks like we'll get below 72. There'll be some short-term stops there. Uh, kind of a trap break here between 72 and 56. Anywhere in this region, we're going to buy uh, some sterling. We already have cross sterling on core short. Um, we're just sitting with this. Uh, we have the sterling Swiss version of this, but euro sterling is the same trade, sort of, close enough. Um, we add to this through 9017. There will be political news this weekend as Parliament rushes to try and pass a law to prevent a hard Brexit. If they do pass that law, cable will bounce. 
Dollar yen looked pretty big there for a bit, up to 68 again. This is a key area, this whole 73, um, 73 area. Don't know what to do with this. My feeling is um, there's some bad news lurking out of Hong Kong, and there's going to be some yen buying. Um, equities look kind of fraudulently too high. Just staying away from dollar yen right now, staying away from equities. We will sell equities uh, at the close tonight, wherever it is, uh, after this sort of month end stuff is over. But dollar yen, I don't know why I brought it up. I have no view on it. Looks bid, but I'd like to sell it. So, kind of weird that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, quickly look at equities super important level here. We do feel like this is probably going to sneak through 43 uh, and then this is will be a trap break here between 43 and 59. We've been talking about this forever. This is our sell zone between 39 and 59. Um, you got 20 handles there to pick your point. We don't think this is sustainable um, and we'll see what happens, right? I mean, uh, your stop is it's pretty straightforward, you know, 64 to 68. Um, well, really, your stop should be above 70 here, it looks like. Um, so, plan your trade out now. Sort out the P&L. Uh, you know, every 10 minis is 500 bucks. Keep an eye on uh, this level. This this will be key. It's been key many, many times now. Ten, ten times almost up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, I mean, this thing's been bouncing along these highs, bouncing along these lows. This will be key. But we are sellers up here between 39 and 59. Dollar CAD is the main focus today. Also short 10-year bonds, ZN. And uh, ZN is the code, CME. So we will see what happens with that. It is month end, so this is usually not a day that trends are made. So we're grabbing cash. Also looking to sneak in some sterling on, on, on any low prints down there. Good luck, people. Uh, grab some dough today and then enjoy the long weekend. I will see you on Monday because I'm here in Europe. But um, for those uh, Yankee Doodle Dandies out there, enjoy it. And the rest of us, enjoy the normal weekend. I will see you on Monday.